Okay, let's look at these, uh, the first word problem for addition. So this is a simple one, right? So let's just read it through. Tom bought 15 chocolate bars and three other candies. So how much candy did he buy altogether? So what you need to do is set these uh, questions up. So you notice they're given to you 15 chocolate bars and three other candies. So if chocolate bars is considered as candies, obviously it is, it will be, um, you know, adding these two numbers together. So you have 15 plus 3. And so 5 plus 3 is 8. And then you got that 10 to bring that down. So 18 candies all together. Alright. That's an easy one. Let's start. Do another one. Okay, now ready for the second word problem for addition? Okay, this one requires actually three um, adding of uh, numbers, sets of numbers. So let's read the question. Matthew played a video game and scored the following points. 50 points, 156 points, 87 points. What were his total points? All right, so there's three sets of points that he uh, scored, so we have to add them together, right? Now, for the purpose of, you know, setting it up, I would probably write the number, biggest number first. So that's 156 points, followed by 87. It's just for me, I find it easier if I go from largest to smallest, all right? This, you don't have to do this, it's just, for me, it's, I find it easier to add up things. Okay, so 6 plus 7 gives you what? 13, isn't it? Carry the 1 over, we have 1 plus 6 is, 1 plus 5 is 6, okay? Plus uh, 8 plus 5. Now, you know, remember from the previous lesson I told you, it's quite easier. We look for uh, easier number to add. So, uh, for example, 5 plus 5 is 10 plus uh, 1 is uh, 10, uh, 11 plus 8 is 19, right? So then you have that carry over. It is 19. Bring that to the 100th column. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So he actually scored 293 points. Alright, let's look at the last word problem for uh, addition. Uh, this one involves a table. Okay, okay. so let's read this. Megan wanted to keep track of her daily exercise activity for a week. So she kept a record of her exercise activity in a chart as shown below. You can see here. Right? From the chart, how much exercise did she get for the week? Well, notice it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to Sunday. And these are an amount of exercise in minutes. So 30 minutes on Monday, Tuesday is 20 minutes, and so on. To Sunday, where it's 60 minutes. So in order to find out how much she get in a whole week, we would have to add individual days up to Sunday, from Monday to Sunday. Okay, so let's do that. Let's see. We have 30, 20, 25, 35, 40, 90, and 60. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add 5 plus 5 is 10. Carry the 1 over to the 10th column. Right, so it's 10. 1 plus 3 is 4. Plus 2, 6, 8, 11, 15, 24, 30. 300. So that means 300 minutes, all right, per week. In other words, she has exercised 300 minutes per week. Now here's a bonus for you guys. Okay, so you haven't learned. You may not have not learned this yet. Is the question is 300 minutes, okay, per week. That's harder to understand because we usually um, think about time in terms of hours, isn't it? So how many hours is that? Okay, here's the bonus. Later on I'll teach you when we do division, but let's do this just as a bonus. So 300 minutes, all right? And how many minutes are in an hour? 60, isn't it? So what we're going to do is we're going to divide by 60 minutes. That will give us the number of hours, all right? So uh, 300 divided by 60 will give you about approximately, if not actually exact, exact number, 5 hours, okay? 
five hours, and that would be per week. 